Has anyone else wondered what happened to Omarion? I mean, he was a huge R&B star in the late 90s and early 2000s, and he enjoyed great success with his music both as a member of the B2K boy band and a solo career, but he seems to have disappeared from the limelight. So what happened to him? His story is honestly bizarre, you'll never believe what happened to him. Omarion may have disappeared from the music scene, but his life has been nothing but quiet. If you're a fan of the reality show Love & Hip Hop, you know that Omarion appeared in seasons 1 and 2 of the show with his girlfriend April Jones. Omarion and April portrayed a positive example in their relationship and kept the drama to the minimum. In fact, I think we all love their relationship. This is why we were all shocked when the couple started missing towards the end of season 2. April said that they missed the season 2 reunion because Omarion was on tour, but it turns out that there was more to the story than we thought. The couple missed the reunion because they had quit the show and you'll never believe why. I mean, they had such a successful run in the first two seasons, so what exactly happened? So after being back in the limelight with the show, Omarion decided to start paying more attention to his music. In an interview with XXL Magazine, Omarion had hinted that season two would be an interesting season for him in April. I guess we just didn't expect that they would be quitting the show. April says that Omarion being on tour really affected their relationship until they reached a point of no return. And even though in the beginning they said the split had been amicable, they both talked about it in different interviews and the details will totally surprise you. To begin with, April said that Omarion just packed and left without any explanation. She said that he left her with the kids and didn't even want to talk about it or even plan how they would take care of the kids. And that's not all. April says that Omarion abandoned her after she had just given birth to their second baby. She also claimed that Omarion cheated on her and that's why he left. She says that she was destitute and to make matters even worse, she was suffering from postpartum depression and Amarion just didn't care about any of that. Amarion, on the other side, didn't talk about abandoning his family, he just said that he was going through so much at the time, that he was trying to pay more attention to his career and his business and he felt that April didn't understand what he was trying to do. He also admitted that they just grew apart as a couple until it was impossible to be together anymore. He later said that he thought about his relationship with April and even though she was the mother of his two children, he realized he didn't want to marry her and he won't believe the reason behind it. He said that he simply doesn't believe in marriage, which is pretty interesting considering that he lived with April for years and even had two children with her. And if you think the 2016 breakup was the end of the story, you are so wrong because what followed their split is totally crazy. Just one year after their breakup, it was rumored that April was dating Lil Fizz. Now in case you don't know, Lil Fizz was a member of B2K and Omarion's longtime friend. The couple obviously denied the rumors, but admitted that they were in a romantic relationship in 2018. It's not surprising that they were trashed for betraying Omarion like that and breaking all sorts of friendships and brotherhood codes. Everybody wanted to know what Omarion thought about the relationship, but his reaction was totally out of this world. Omarion said that he was totally unbothered by Abel and Lil Fizz's relationship. In fact, he was named the King of Unbothered because his reaction wasn't what many people expected, which sounds a little crazy because I mean, this is the mother of your children dating a man who was once your best friend. Lil Fizz and April insisted that they didn't owe Omarion any loyalty. Plus, Fizz said he was no longer friends with Omarion, so he didn't break any friendship or brotherhood code. But it looks like they both knew the relationship wasn't right because the relationship didn't last. April said that the pressure on their relationship was too much, so they decided to end it. But it looks like Lil Fizz felt a lot more than just pressure from the public. So the B2K band decided to have a reunion tour in 2019. And you won't believe what Lil Fizz did during the performance. He shocked the whole world when he publicly apologized to Omarion on stage. He admitted that he'd done some crazy things that offended Omarion and that he was sorry for it all. I can't believe it took him several years to realize it, but I'm glad he apologized. It must have been really uncomfortable for them to go on tour together with such a heavy issue under their conscience. And even though Omarion's unbothered attitude was impressive, it looks like working with Lil Fizz wasn't easy. He later decided to do the tour without the rest of the BTS. 2K members, clearly all Omarion wants right now is to focus on his music, but it looks like the internet had other plans for him because he made headlines in late 2021 and early 2022 from the most unexpected of things. So it all started when the COVID-19 Omicron variant hit the
the country, and guess what? People started making fun of how the name Omicron sounds like Omarion, and he wasn't very happy about it. He released several videos on TikTok to clarify that his name is Omarion, not Omicron, and he is an artist, not a variant. He tried to make a joke about it. He said that if you happen to meet him on the streets, you don't need to isolate yourself for five days, and you don't need to be tested to dance to his music. He did, however, ask people to stop sending him DMs about the joke because it was disrespectful, and interesting how he used the whole situation to reach out and ask people to listen to his music. And it was also interesting to see him address the issue so calmly, because the last time he was unhappy with a public issue, he wasn't so calm about it. It all started when his hit song, Post to Be, failed to be nominated for the Grammy Award. Omarion didn't hide the fact that he has always wanted a Grammy recognition for his music. He's done the song in collaboration with Chris Brown and Janai Aiko. The song had been a hit and he expected it to be nominated, but things took a different turn when it didn't appear on the nomination list and Omarion literally suffered a meltdown because of it, and he didn't keep quiet about it. He expressed his frustrations on Twitter and said that the song had been one of the greatest collaborations and it deserved Grammy recognition. He alleged that the industry still treated him like a newbie and that he deserved more. And that's not all. He alleged that the odds had always been against him, but he would continue to work hard and prove everybody wrong. He even compared himself to Jesus and prophesied that even though people laughed at him, he was destined for great things and they'd have to celebrate him one day. I mean, Omarion just went on and on about it and it was just so shocking to see him like that. But it looks like he took time off to work on himself. Besides the fact that his calmness in the recent videos is evident, Omarion has also released a self-help book. Interestingly, the book is called Unbothered, The Power of Joy, a name that became popular after he seemed unbothered by his ex-girlfriend's relationship with Lil Fizz. Omarion said that he's been going through a spiritual journey and he wrote the book to share tips from his journey. As usual, some are happy for Omarion and some don't believe that he's changed. But what do you guys think? I would love to hear your thoughts, so please comment below and let me know. Thank you.